Solid Color. The Solid Color Generator is actually really useful and it allows you to create loads of cool stuff. Where'd you find it? Well, on the edit page, open up the effects library, come down to your toolbox and then generators and within there, you've got Solid Color. Give it a click, pop it on your timeline. In the inspector, top right hand corner, go to video, generator, and then you've got this color box. Give that a click and then you can change the color of this solid color and job done. Super simple, right? And useful, but not very exciting. Well, here's five surprising uses you've probably not tried before. I don't know what, <laughs> got really squeaky. <laughs> here's five surprising uses for the solid color generator in DaVinci Resolve. And my first tip, darkening your background. If you want to make a title path like this, you need to darken your background a little bit. Of course, there's a few ways that you could do this in DaVinci Resolve. I've got my text title on my timeline. I could open up the inspector video title, scroll right down and use these background controls. But I like to use a solid color because you have a little bit more control over it and you can animate it separately from your text. So let's get rid of that and let me show you how it's done. First things first, grab your solid color and put it underneath your text like so. I'm gonna make it roughly the same length. By default, it will just be completely black as you can see here. Give the solid color a click, then open up the inspector. Rather than going to the video generator tab, jump straight onto the settings tab. Scroll down until you get to the composite area and then all we're going to do is lower the opacity. That will lower the opacity of our solid color. We can get it looking as light or as dark as we like and it just makes that text pop. And then the cool thing is we can start to animate this. So I'm going to bring my text in just a little bit. I want my text to fade so I'm just going to give it a click. I've got these little white handles. These are laid to fade so I'm just going to drag these in at the start and the end and then if we hit play our text fades in like so. And then to animate our solid color, we're just simply gonna use the built-in video transitions. So still within the effects library, I'm gonna to go to video transitions, and I'm gonna grab something simple like the barn door. Let's just click that, drag it, drop it on our solid color. And it looks something like this. Now we wanna change a few settings for this. So give that barn door transition a click on the timeline, open up the inspector, go to transition, and then you customize the settings. Now, the one thing you always want to change for these transitions is the easing. Change it from non to in and out, and it will instantly make this look much better. And now we've got this. Super quick, super easy, simple, and works really well. Now, my tip number two is very, very similar, but instead of darkening the footage, we're gonna desaturate the footage like this. Popular for memes, can be handy. Again, you can do this in the color page, but we wanna do it really quickly on the edit page, and you can do so using a solid color. So I'm gonna grab my solid color, put this over this piece of footage here like so. Again, we're gonna leave it black. We don't need to mess around with the color at all. Hop over to the settings tab, still within the composite area, simply use this drop down, come down until you get to saturation and give that a click. Now, because it's black, what it's gonna do is just simply draw all of the color out of your image. So anything it's on top of, it's just gonna suck the color out, giving us a black and white image. Again, opacity, we can lower this down so that it's got its full transparency. If we have the opacity to one, we've got black and white and we've got anything in between. Again, we can use the little handles to fade this in. So if we're going for a sort of slow fade to black and white as the color fades out, real quick, real simple, really, really easy. Tip number three, using a solid color as a transition. Now these aren't the most subtle of transitions in the world, but they do the job. If you're going for something really colorful and vibrant, they actually work surprisingly well. So I've got these two images on my timeline and at the moment they simply cut between the two and we want to adjust them up with our solid color. So we're gonna grab a solid color and put them on the track above. Now I want my solid color to be about a second or so, so let's just trim this down. And then we're just gonna put this in the right place, right above the edit point. So we've got half covering the one and half covering the other. Now we're gonna give the solid color a click in the inspector generator, let's change the color. I'm just gonna go with a nice sort of, I don't know, orange, that'll do. Click on okay. Then we need to just go to our video transitions within the edit page and we can use any of these standard video transitions. So I'm in the video transitions, we'll scroll down, you've got all of these, just have a play with them and see what you like. I'm gonna grab this triangle left and triangle right, we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna grab triangle left and we're gonna pop this onto our solid color like so. Give the transition a click. In the inspector, you've got the transition tab and you've got all of the options within there. I'm simply gonna change the ease to in and out. That just means that it's got some acceleration curve and it'll just look much, much nicer. 
then drag the transition so it goes right up until that edit point. Then I want to duplicate this transition over to the other side. The easiest way to do that, give your transition a click so it's highlighted in red, hold down the Alt key and then simply click, drag over to the edit point, release, and you'll make a carbon copy of that transition. I can then just lengthen this out and then if we hit play, we've got this nice orange transition like so. If you don't like this second half, you want to change it, give it a click. From the transition type, just choose a different one. So I'm going to go with triangle right instead. And now I've got this left right swish. Nice little color transition. Job done. Now you can use the exact same technique, but add some text. And it works really well for intros, titles, chapter screens, whatever. So that's my tip number four title screens. So I've got this text here and it simply says something interesting and we want to put a nice little background on this. So again, generator, solid color, we're going to put this underneath, we'll make it the exact same length as our title. So we've got something that looks like this. We're going to change the color. Again, we're going to stick with a nice orange for this one. And we're going to do something very, very similar. We're going to hop into the video transitions and we're going to grab any of the transitions. So let's go with a hexagon for this one. I'm going to drop this onto my solid color give it a click and again we're going to change a few things so first thing i'm going to go to this ease and change it to in and out that just adds that acceleration curve makes it look much much nicer what i also like to do for this i'm going to add a border so if i just increase this border slider we get this white border what i really like to do in this color tab give that a click this opens up your color picker i'm going to use this pick screen color and i'm going to pick the same color as my font so that this border matches exactly my font it just makes everything look really really nice and coherent now at the moment it looks weird because we've got our background popping up and our text is not doing really much of anything but we're going to do our copy transition trick again so i'm going to give this hexagon iris a click hold the alt key and drag up and now because both of our text and our background are the same length and we've got the exact same transition on them it's gonna look like it's all one thing. We can then just do the same thing, copy these over, click, hold the Alt key, drag, and then if we hit play, really nice little title or pop-up or whatever you want, little screen that pops up, shows some text, and then disappears away like so. Now, of course, you don't need to use the same transitions on both if you don't want to. Here, I've got push on my text and a hexagon and a triangle on my solid color. And if we hit play, it looks something like this. So our text flies in with the hexagon on the background and at the end the text flies over to the right and we've got a nice little triangle whip. Looks really cool. So what you can do is just combine all the different transitions that you like to try and create something interesting. Well hey, now my last one, again very similar but another little twist and that's a little side info bar. Really common if you're doing tech reviews, you've got some footage on screen, you want to show some information over on the right or left hand side, same for gaming. Again, it's a simple trick that you can do really easily using a solid color. So here we've got some info on the left hand side and we just want to put a little background that pops over with our text just to show this information. So again, generators, solid color. I'm going to keep this black, make it the same length as our text and job done. Now we're going to give the solid color a click. In the inspector, we're going to go to settings and all I'm going to do is crop this. So down in this second section here, we've got cropping. I'm going to crop from the right hand side just to the point that I want it to be. So I want it about there like so. So we've got all of our information with our black background. And then you've guessed it, we're going to use transitions. So I'm going to go to my video transitions. This time we're going to use a really useful one called push, which just pushes things in from either direction. We're going to drop this onto our solid color. We're then going to give that transition a click and we'll customize it. Now again, not going to do too much, I'm just going to change the ease to in and out, and then we'll just have a look at it. see how that looks. Nice little black bar that pops in like so. Now you may need to mess with the timing of this, because we've cropped it, it may skew the timing a little bit. You may need to make it slightly longer than you think you do, but I'm pretty happy with that, that looks pretty good. And again, we're going to click our transition, hold alt, drag up to our text so they're the same, and now if we hit play, nice little pop in from the side with our information. I'm going to give it a click, hold alt, drag it to the end. If we hit play, it's going to whiz over to the right, which we don't want. So we're going to give it a click on the timeline. In the transition area, you've got this preset. It says push left. We're going to change that to push right, even though 
is the wrong way around, but there we go. And then if we hit play, it just disappears to the left. Drag up with holding our Alt key onto our text. Job done. Little bar pops over with our information and then disappears at the end. And for this last one, all I've done, I've cropped the top rather than the side. And then the push, I've used push up. And then we can get ourselves a nice, simple little lower third that pops up with our text and then pops away at the end. Thanks for watching. Job done. Take it easy. Bye.